All right, guys. Uh, back again a little bit quick, a little bit sooner than I planned. Hopefully, the clicking noise is gone this round. Um, this time we are doing Invalid Rednecks, 1996 Jeep Cherokee. Uh, as known me, I max spec most of my vehicles to a degree. Sometimes it can get a little iffy. <laughs> Went with the V8 swap. Off-road gearbox, lifted as, well, you can figure out what the AF stands for. I'm trying to keep it censored here, PG, you know. Here's your various suspension options. Here's, it could work good, but remember what I said about my visually correct in terms of earning the colors. As you can see, the Cherokee's got the colors. Well, it's a reasonable sized tire. At 35 will kind of sort of work, but it looks like it clips the fender bad, so that's kind of why I didn't go that route. Time to scout, engageable diff lock, tall mushroom intake. Went with the roof rack, stock bumper, sorry. Roof rack, toolbox. Nothing on the rooftop. Went with the front tube bumper, rear tube bumper. Cut fenders, I believe that's what this does, and then one of the sliders. Black rims, of course my red black colors. Let's get this thing on the gra and their trail, huh? Oh, nice touch. The tire actually somewhat closely matches the tire that's under the truck. Ish. Now, that was a Facebook ping. Oh, can't do anything about that. Let's see just what Jeep can do. The, amaz the amount of detail that Redneck has put into his Jeeps, his, any of his vehicles really is, it, it kind of varies depending on from vehicle to vehicle, but this is one of the better ones of his. Nice little touch having the Invalid Redneck, where, yeah, Invalid Redneck on the grab handle of the hatch. Give it some mud action, see how this works out. One thing I like about this particular obstacle is it does flex the vehicle out while putting it through mud at the same time. Oh, so this might be the first one that actually winds up having to tow it out. Oh, maybe not. Oh, nope, still going. I thought I was going to have to switch to low gear there for a second. Nope, now it looks like I'm going to have to. Probably must be because I got high centered on this hump. More than likely. I'm not sure what I can do. I wonder what I can do. Definitely tell this is more of a trail jeep than is a mud jeep. <laughs> but it's still trucking along pretty good, so there's that. There's a little bit of seesaw action with the wheel here. See if that gives you some bite. Get across the trail. I'm going to put back an auto here. Keep it low plus just to finish this up just to play it safe. But I like the fact that it's got rims that actually match what's on the Jeep. Not the generic Chevy rim you usually see on these roof racks.
detail on the roof racks are actually quite nice. Surely. I think more my speed right now is because I'm in low and not because I'm in getting thick. I'm getting a little bit of speed there. As you can sort of work to the uh, <laughs> track over absolutely. Actually, trail I haven't explored before anything, so. Or not, Kirkshire might be a lie. I've done this range or trucking when I first explored this map. This is not a knock on redneck. This is this I admit pure driver error. I got myself in a situation that I probably shouldn't have put this Jeep in.
that's where the slider come in handy right there. Whoa. I'm gonna pause this to get the screenshot of that. I don't want to probably want to get a thumbnail for this video. I'm going to have to cut this one short, guys, because I keep having background noise. So, as far as I can for today, but as you can see, Jeep is a great little crawler. Unfortunately, right now, it is limited to the PTS. I believe that will change phase two. I'm not 100% sure. I won't say yay or nay. Oh, looks like I did a little cosmic damage in the process here, but it is what it is. But I hope like you guys liked this short little video. Until the next one. Peace.